Hey, welcome back, guys, to Rex Stick Archery. My name is Jeff Ruckman. Thank you so much for joining me today again in the Ruck Shed. It is a beautiful Saturday morning in the Central Valley in November, and we've had an inch or so of rain, and we've even got snow up on the Sierra Nevadas. It's a beautiful morning and a beautiful time in the Central Valley. Super pumped to be here with you this morning and have a chance to share just a little bit at the beginning stages of making this longbow. Made a promise last time, or I made a goal last time of trying to build a bow, a longbow, an American style longbow, or a hill style longbow out of natural materials, that is 80 pounds or more. Natural materials can produce uh, the, the poundage that you want. You just gotta have the width, the thickness and the length, and you gotta be, you gotta kinda know what you're doing. So hopefully I kinda know what I'm doing today and putting together this bow. The materials that I'm gonna be using on this bow, particular bow build anyway, is Ipe and bamboo. Those are my main ingredients of this bow. I'm also gonna be using some uh, red oak that you get from your hobby store. Uh, pretty easy that I've machined down and prepared for uh, this particular bow. Here's my bow layout so far. I have my handle section, which is going to be eight inches long. <clears throat> I'm not sure the length of the limbs that I'm going to have on this bow quite yet. My pieces are cut at 72 inches long, and I'm gonna work those down. I'm hoping to get them down to 67 or 66 inches long and come up with that 80 or more pounds. But my handle section will be eight inches long. It's already cut and ready to go. This is a nice piece of Ipe. It is one and three quarters of an inch wide. I also have a nice accent piece of red oak that will go with it. I have a, I have a new piece of Ipe that I've just gotten from Advantage Lumber. Just got it in the mail. Here's me unpackaging it. Pretty excited about that. Got it all unpackaged and got it cut up and ready to go. It is one and three quarters inch wide. That's what my end up cut is here. So I have a 72, 72 inch piece of Ipe, uh, which is three quarters of an inch thick. And it is one and three quarters of an inch wide along with my handle section. I also made a power lamb already here. I'm making it 12 inches long. It is a 12 inch long piece and uh, you can't really see the lines anymore, but you can see them on the side. What I try to do with my power lambs is I find the center and I measure about an inch and a half from center and I make my taper from the tip to that inch and a half mark to try to keep that thickness there in the middle, uh, which is 3 16ths of an inch thick and down to paper thin and you can kind of see that on either end there. And so that's gonna be my power lamb. It'll be a red oak power lamb. It is 12 inches long. And I'm gonna work on putting, getting this bamboo tillered the way I like it, or pre-tillered before I get it glued up on this bow. But uh, so what we got is a bamboo, red oak, Ipe, red oak accent, and a Ipe handle. So it's gonna look great. I'm gonna get started on this bamboo. All right, essentially I'm gonna be getting ready to get this bamboo ready to glue up. And before I can glue this bamboo to my belly laminate, I wanna take it down and taper it uh, even to the point where it is bending on a tillering string um, in a nice arc. So there aren't, I don't see any strong places or stiff spots in my bamboo before I get started because bamboo tends to carry some stiff spots, especially around the nodes. So you wanna get, your bamboo ready in such a way that it bends nicely before you get a glue up. And so what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna take this thing to the sander and just set it on the sander at an angle like this and sand down to the top edge of uh, the back. Cause we're gonna sand this belly part off. We're gonna to sand down to the outer edge of the bamboo. Uh, and so I usually sand at an angle like this and work my way towards the middle and then do the other side and work my way towards the middle and essentially it comes out to look like this and so you can see that.
All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video. I wanted to share uh, the beginning stages of putting this long bow together for you. Um, I have the bamboo uh, finished up, at least at li as far as I can go at this point. The next step is to lay the bow out, how I want to configure the limbs, and also to get this bamboo tillered and ready for glue up. Uh, my power lamb is completed. You can see it. It is about 3 16 of an inch thick and paper thin at the end. It is 12 inches long and 1 and 3 quarters inch wide. I have my Ipe all done. Uh, the edges are squared off and ready to go. It is 1 and 3 quarters inch wide and it is 3 quarters of an inch thick and 72 inches long. I also have my two uh, handle pieces, my oak accent piece, oh yes, and the power lamb is made out of red oak also. I have my oak accent piece and my Ipe handle section here, and it will be, they are 8 inches long. So we're going to work with an 8 inch long handle section on a 72 inch bow, and I'm going to work with the limbs. Hopefully I can get it shortened down to about 67, 66 inches. So, uh, Production right now is a little bit on hold until uh, my uh, part for my bandsaw comes in. Then I'll put this thing back together and get this thing, get this bow laid out and and uh, ready to go. That'll be the next video. We'll get the bow laid out, uh, the bamboo tillered and the uh, Ipe, the belly wood tillered and ready for glue up. And uh, thank you again for joining me on this bow building journey and in particular <laughs> this bow build this afternoon on this beautiful rainy afternoon and evening. Thank you so much also for just all the comments and all the people that are uh, uh, sending good comments and encouragements and questions and, and uh, even uh, criticisms on how I might get better at this. Man, I want to get better. Anyway, thank you, all of you, for subscribing and liking and, and sending your comments. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to uh, and even getting uh, more and more ambitious as I <laughs> even record this video uh, that I'm sharing with you right now. I started out with an 80-pound goal on this bow, and, and then uh, as I've been recording, it's grown to 80 pounds plus. And as I'm concluding this video, Man, I'm thinking, let's max this puppy out, see what it can max out to. Let's get up to, you know, a hundred pound or more uh, long bow. I know they can, it can be done. It's been done before. So let's see what happens. Anyway, we'll see how this bow turns out and uh, we'll start with our uh, starting dimensions in the next video and, and work our way towards a finished product. Looking for, so forward to that. So stay tuned for installment number two, which will be uh, layout and uh, preparations for glue up and glue up. So God bless you. And thank you again for joining me in Ruxtig Archery. In Ruxtig Archery. Woohoo!